Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome to episode 21 of my Waking Up Developer Commentary. I think for today's episode we are going to go take on... Um, let's see here. Let's go get the wool out of Helix Cavern. That's what we'll do today. And But first, let me finish off my level 30 here and put a level... Thir uh, my level 29 here to get to level 30. And put a level 30 enchantment on something. I'm not sure what yet. And uh, let's go check our... Woo, what? Wait a minute. Hey, what's that? <gasps> what? Uh, cactuses falling out of the two. What is this magic? Um, you guys will remember the sign I left for myself. Well, I uh, broke several picks, and in the process of making a cactus cactus farm. An automated cactus farm, and I'll uh, I'll show it off to you guys. Just give me a second here. Let me clear all these zombies out. There we go. Um, all right. Let me do the enchantment, then I'll go up there and show you my uh, the cactus farm I ended up making. So what should we uh, what should we put a level thirty on here? A sword maybe, or should we keep enchanting the armor? Well, let's let's take stock here. Okay, some nice boots, nice pants, nice helmet. That's such a good helmet. Hmm. Uh. Let's see. I almost want to say a sword, but no, no. I should. I should probably stick with enchanting the armor. Because I've got two. Well, huh. Oh, I probably should have decided this before, before I started recording. Oh well. You know what? I'm going to go for the pants, I think, here, because... No, actually, I, ch I know what I would want. Looking at my inventory here, another chest plate, but I don't have one, so I'm going to do another set of pants here. Alright, so... Whoop, no, not rotten flesh. What are we doing? Alright, iron leggings, level 30. I will take anything but fire resist. Here we go. Hang it! Ah! Frick! That was... Damn it. Damn it, I got Amlupian fire protection pants. Ugh. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and go ahead and wear my Amlupian pants here. And um uh, alright, so that kinda sucks, but Um Oh well. Let's see what else. Uh, oh, I got level 2, and I noticed I had this a replacement in my inventory here of this helmet. Alright, cool. I'll, I'll wear that when this breaks. And what else are we going to need to replace? Oh, that, uh, we're going to need a, yeah, let's take this out. Have that on us. Yep, yeah, okay. Alright, so let's go check out the cactus farm. So this is pretty cool. I, my... Natural spawn grinder, I dug that out using stone picks that I just kept throwing like level 1 enchants on for efficiency 1. And that worked okay. Um, it was kind of slow. But for this, I got impatient and I used up one of my power miners because meh. And uh, let me get up here. So I think I can get up. Yeah, okay. So let me fight this water current and get up to the ladder here. Hold on one second. Come on, swim. There we go. Alright. So, basically, I came off the uh, tube down there. The drop tube. That's, uh, wait, no. It's right here. Yeah. That's where the drop tube is, right down there. And it this links up. And I dug out a big box room here. And I basically just got, uh, what is this? Uh, three, six, uh, nine, I don't remember how many this is, um, but it's a basic basic cactus farm, nothing really groundbreaking. Uh, the only thing I did that I think is unique, that I've never seen done before, um, maybe, 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 maybe uh, one of you guys can update the Minecraft wiki for, about these, is use fence posts as the block that triggers the cactus to break because if you use like a normal block you just put like something like that down uh, 
the cactus can actually like break off and it has upward momentum and it ends up like well yeah like right there being on top of the of the block but if you use fences that won't happen uh, <clears throat> like it's kinda like the cactus just it doesn't it doesn't get stuck on top of the fence uh, it just falls right through it so this is slightly more efficient than uh, a basic design using just normal blocks here because of these fence posts so I thought that was a good idea and you can put a torch on them and it looks really cool so that's my cactus farm uh, it works pretty well it generates a pretty constant uh, stream of cactus here so what else what else what else I love the fact that it's linked up and I've got multiple farms all dropping their uh, loot down the drop tube and oh here are some cactuses I put and these basically work to kill spiders that uh, are getting hung up around the drop zone here and I made the mistake of poking my head um, through this wall once and I'm not gonna do that again because that's a max spawn almost max spawn room in there and uh, yeah so if you go in here you go up and this takes you back to the area I first uh, dug out and then you go back down and here's the top of the zombie grinder here and there's the uh, lava knife right over there that uh, kills the natural spawns and you can see the the cactus farm comes through that water channel and joins links right up there with that drop tube so I've got the cactuses and the natural drops coming down um, this is where I first started just digging and the ladder here holds up the water and this ladder right here uh, just keeps the water from flowing in here while at the same time letting me be able to move past into this so yeah uh, pretty simple cactus farm I think the only thing that I've done different that's new or remarkable is just using the fences there uh, I found that works much much better than just using normal blocks um and so yeah I'm killing I'm killing these zombies with these iron shovels because I have no other really use for them and I mean it just it lets me kill them a little faster without using up my my good swords <sighs> okay what do I need I've got swords pick shovel axe bow arrows tons of arrows I got some cactus here um, replacement armor for when these two pieces break mm. I need torches oh and I made uh, another chest just for coal because oh my god oh and I made another chest here just for cobblestone because oh my god too much cobblestone and my other blocks chest is now a little bit neater and organized hmm let's see here how about we get some potions yeah I'm thinking let's take a few of these just in case we run into like a giant group of blazes or creepers on the way uh, let's take a uh, do I have any potions left in here oh yeah there we go I made a fresh batch of fire resist last episode oh that is fantastic okay so let's take I'm thinking there's a lot of lava in helix cavern so let's take some of that in case we fall in it let's take some of this that's always welcome and let's take an emergency potion yeah I think that's a good setup and I don't know if I'm gonna use my cactuses at all so let's put the cactus in there put that in there spare armor over mia and torches okay torches and we're ready to go do I I don't have any torches do I I've still been using this like one stack left over well why don't we remedy that right now let's take uh, the answer to the answer to everything here 42 put in that this and bam and a little more and more there we go that'll that all to uh, whoops that should last me for a while 
a while. I'm saying it weird. Um, I'll take three stacks. And I have so many arrows, God. I basically have unlimited arrows, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so I'll, uh, did anything good drop? Meh. I'll, uh, ah, I want to kill them! No, just go. Just go, Vetches. And I forgot to replant my trees. Damn. Alright, so I'll see, I'll see you guys back over at uh, Helix Cavern. You know what I just realized? I was actually thinking what I'm going to have to do. Those Enderman spawners over in Legion Halls, I'm going to make a farm out of them. I'm going to make a simple uh, drop farm where they drop and die so I can have an infinite source of easy-to-get Ender Pearls without having to fight the stupid things because I hate fighting Endermen. Uh, mostly just because of the new, new patch and the new... Uh, inconsistencies of the combat here <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do that uh, make an enderman farm but i'll do that later for now let's just go try and get the wool out of helix cavern <sighs> so this this does kind of annoy me i didn't intend for the uh fog to do this you're right at the level where it where it kicks in and I don't mind either way, but I don't like this rapid transition back and forth here just by jumping. It That kind of irritates me. <clears throat> but to fix it, I'd have to probably just come in and put... Raise this area. Probably just raise or lower the entire... Ca eh, blah. I'll just, deal, I'll just have to deal with it, I guess. So I'll, I'll eat my food in a second here. <clears throat> so let's get up on a ribbon and make our way. Let's get up here. All right, where does this one lead? I think this one leads... And I'm just going to run past these guys. All right. So I need to go higher. Let's try this route and see where this gets us. I honestly do not remember the exact route to get to the wool. But as long as I am uh, close and I, the sand here, I mined, uh, I mined some sand just in case I did want to make a small uh, thorn barrier out of my cactus. And that's that's on Death Shallow over there. So let me uh, let me pause and let it render. All right, that looks yeah, that lo looks better. We still have lots of. Uh, Lots of lighting glitches, unfortunately, but uh, that's just there, there's nothing I can really do about that. I mean, there's a program to fix it that puts invisible ladders in like every chunk, ever, like all over the map to fix it. Uh, meh, I I'd rather I mean it'll get fixed in time, so it's just it's really just a matter of being patient. Okay, so this is bright, but with I must be in another lighting glitch here, so. Let's keep ascending. Hello, fish. Before I deal with you, let me just kill your spawner. There. First priority is the fish spawner itself. Uh, is this a knockback sword? Oh, it is. Okay, hold on. I need to get my health regening. They're right behind me, I know. Let's switch to the sharpness sword. And now let's try killing them with this. There we go. That works much better. Yeah. All right. Crisis averted. Uh, the last thing you want to have is a fish apocalypse with the fish being, you know, efficient at uh, trolling me on this ribbon up here and have the ribbon start crumbling around you. Um, okay, well, here's some coal. That's pretty awesome. No, 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 not yet. Uh, I know what I saw right there. Pretty sure. Let me get out my pick and go take care of that. Come on, where are you? There it is. I knew what I saw. That's a bl Yep. Got it. Where did... Wow. He went all the way down there? <clears throat> Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was very risky. I should not have, uh... Was that... T? 
TNT. Okay, that, okay, so that was a proximity bomb right there. Let me turn up my sound a little bit. I barely heard that. Uh, okay, so TNT was right, right there. So the fleecy box is over there, and it looks like I don't think I can get over there from this ribbon. But I can. I could just mine. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. This. Uh, I remember now. I linked. Okay, that's why this is here. This column here, actually, if you if you notice, creates a bridge. When it blows up, it creates a bridge. See? It. Uh, It links these two ribbons because before there was no link and players would just have to bridge over. But when this explodes, the little crater, you see how it forms a uh, a way down? That's that's uh, that's why I did this. I, I remember now. Yeah, so it's not just a random random bomb. It actually serves a. I Man, it seems really. Okay, I'm on normal. I'm just getting, uh, finally having some decent luck with the natural spawns. I'm not getting constantly swarmed up here. Um, so there's the fleecy box. I don't seem to be in range of any spawners, so let's approach it carefully, because I think I, I've had to have left something up here. I couldn't just leave this thing unguarded. Oh, well, there's this. Whoop. Yeah. That seems about about right. Cave spider. Where's your spawner? Nope. 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 No. Jeez. So wait a minute. That cave spider must have been from the player sensor itself. Oh, I'm I'm lucky he spawned on the outside and not uh, not actually on the inside and setting the the sensor off. I kind of got lucky there. Yep, it just got set off. What is this? What is this here? Let's take a look. Ooh, nasty. Rege this is regenerating. Yeah, regenerating blazes and regenerating creepers. That's what would have come out of this. Ugh. All right, now I'm curious about something. Uh, I'm curious to see if I think harm potions will indeed kill spiderps. So the spawner must run this way. Yeah, they're right down there. Yep, oh, okay. That works pretty well. So let's neutralize the spawners and make sure this area is secure. Okay, so even if that had gone off, I think what I would have done is uh, you're a fish, aren't you? Yes, you are. I do want to. I do want to um, deconstruct the. Oh look, my shovel actually got got a chance to do its role in life. I do want to come get some of this redstone because I use up redstone making uh, making stoofs like uh, potions and whatnot. And I guess I'll take the. Nah, I don't really need the pressure plates. Is that it? Is that all the redstone in here? Oh wait, that's right. There's still more in here. Yeah, there's some. That's a fish. That's another fish. All right. That's a fish. So, meh, I guess I'll take the torches too. All right, let's get out of here. So, sharpness two iron sword, very, uh, very useful at quickly killing sort of fish before they have a chance to do any badness. Okay, so I think I've disarmed all the spawners and traps that lead to this. So this is a this is a pretty easy wool. Um, the more difficult one for this area is Helix Depth, so I'm going to take one of that out of here. Now, oh, right over there, there's the uh, book two, so let's let's go get that today. And
and I'll probably want to mine some of this gold, but is this TNT? Nope. Okay. So it's just this one. This is a this bomb basically creates a, a sort of walkway slash bridge for you. All right. So I think it looks like this ribbon expands <clears throat> over here. Okay, you look at this. The uh, the gold patches over here are a lot richer and uh, more dense. So I definitely want those. Yeah, this will be a good, great spot to mine up uh, plenty of gold. And with, uh, I can make a melon farm and make uh, healing potions. Now, I thought there was a blaze spawner on the, like, right over here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Fire resist, go. Frick. Wrong button. All right. So let's kill the blaze. And kill you. And kill you. Come on now. All right, now I just need to ignore them for a second and kill the spawner, which is right there. There we go. And kill the spawner. There we go. And hey, maybe I can get a blaze rod out of this. Maybe? No. Now, I heard a rumor that they're more likely to drop a blaze rod when they're on fire. So he's on fire. Let's see if he drops one. Well, he did, but that doesn't necessarily prove that theory. Um, I don't need you or you. There's one over there. Now, I thought I killed that one when he wasn't on fire. I don't know. That could just be a rumor. It could just be people... Uh, like the old rumor that uh, like Diamond was more likely to spawn to near um, dirt underground. and that's But that's just because uh, it's easy to mine the dirt. And so you clear... You reveal more space faster. So here is... Oh, what is this? Oh, hello. Well, now. I am definitely going to avail myself of this. Efficiency, unbreaking, and fortune. Okay, so this is, uh, this is how we're going to mine this gold. Yeah, this is... And get all the fish. We'll get plenty of fish with our gold. That's cool. Fish and gold. It's uh, kind of like fish and chips, only it tries to kill you. And it, uh, yeah. Um, sorry, Shovel, but uh, you're pretty expendable, man. No hard feelings. Oh, wait, I... Oh, okay, never mind. You can come back. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, three frames per second. What's going on? My computer just had a seizure. Did Windows or Steam update just now? Huh. I'm not sure what that was, but it seems back to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, what is going on? Hold on one sec, guys. Slight technical hiccup. I will be right back. All right, uh, I'm back. Let's see, everything running smooth. I think it was Steam. No, whoa. Well, no, not Steam. Let me, uh, let me go see what's going on. Hold on, sorry about this. Okay, let's see, does that fix things? I just uh, restarted Fraps, I guess. Okay, yeah, it seems to be running smoothly now. Uh, awesome. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's continue on our adventure. Pretty easy adventure today, which is just fine with me. Uh, I'll have uh, the real challenge lies below me down in the helix depths. Uh, so let's just get all the gold ever and cause a silverfish apocalypse on this uh, stone ribbon, which is. Uh, a long way above the ground below me, so that uh, I will fall to my death as the bridge crumbles. That seems like a the most appropriate and uh, logical plan to uh, take on right now. Oh, 
Well, hey, I mean, at least it keeps things, you know, it keeps me on my toes. If this was just uh, nothing but gold, it would be it'd be so mindless to just grind it out. I do love how, um, you know what, I can part ways with three torches, I think, in the name of getting more gold. Mm, what I would really like, though, is silver. Uh, because silver is an industrial metal in addition to being a precious metal and it gets used up and then thrown out and whoa what in the world I apologize greatly for this I uh, this is the first time I've ever had a trouble like this although I've seen other LPers uh, having issues quite similar to this um, I'm, I'm really not sure what's going on so Huh, what should I do? Okay, I tried, uh, let's see if this helps at all. I'm thinking it's probably an issue with uh, recording the raw footage and my hard drive is not, oh, there it goes again. I just set um, uh, the Minecraft render distance down to uh, short. Now that seems to be helping a little bit. Um, Hmm. Yeah, it's probably an issue with uh, f the file. Whoa. 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 Man. Yeah, I've seen... Uh, I've never had issues like this before. Fraps has always ran, uh, ran great with Minecraft uh, with me. Uh, I have seen other people... Um, I want to say I think Zisto had a problem with it, and Amlop... Uh, always uh, has has trouble with fraps. Whoa. Whoa. And I know Joe Hills has had uh, a host of technical troubles uh, with his LPs. So, man. All right, let's uh, turn down the... Let's try tiny. Jeez, does that help at all? I assume that might help because it'll reduce the disk activity of Minecraft and uh, leave more room for fraps. All right, how are we doing on guard? Two stacks of gold. I'm going to tell myself that's enough for now. And let's go ahead and grab that book. No, I'm still having the frame rate issues. That really is annoying. Uh, I might have to... Uh, yeah, I'll get back to base and... Ugh, jeez. Yeah, wow. All right. So, tell you what. Um, I'll get back to base, and I'm going to have to cut this episode short, and then I'm going to try... Uh, oh, wait, well, now it seems like it's running okay. I swear, that is some of the most uh, frustrating computer problems, are the ones that happen intermittently and randomly, and you aren't really sure what the problem is. Because uh, usually finding out exactly what the problem is is a lot harder than uh, move skeleton. I don't have time for you. I'm going back to base. And now I now I can't. Now I've lost my uh, bearings because I can't quite see <laughs> where I'm going. So I gotta pause for a second. We'll have to put it on back on far. All right. Let's see. There's. Oh, lost a piece of armor. And that's... It may be... It may be as simple as... Uh, well, what gets me is like I've never had this problem before. And now it just suddenly randomly starts happening. So... Hmm. See, now it's fine. I, can I survive this drop... I just want to go right down there. I'm pretty sure I can survive that. Especially if I do this. Yeah. I knew I had these on here for a reason. Thank you, Feather Falling. Awesome. Um, yes, yeah, okay, so now it's now it's it's doing okay. And now it's back to being obnoxious. Oh, that is so frustrating. It's so random. All right, so all right, whatever. I got uh, I got the gold. I got the book. I got the book. I got the wool, and um, 
sorry about this, guys, but uh, I gotta get. To, uh, I'm gonna get back to base and uh, sign off for now. And wish wish me luck figuring out uh, this technical issue. And uh, but hey, uh, this um, coming out around the time of this video should also be a few of my uh, test world videos, so I hope you enjoy those. Um, one's dedicated to Joe Hills, and the other is dedicated to uh, Zombie Cleo. So we're back at base, and we've got the lime wool, which goes right there. Oh, nice. I like it when it's nice and uh, in a row like that, and there's no gaps. And we've got chapter 11, so there's 9, 10, 11 going to go right there. And we've got the gold block. So we'll do half a stack in there, half a stack in there, half a stack in there, and half a stack in there. Awesome. And got uh, cactus farms working just like it should. So let's wait on this gold to smelt. Alrighty, I uh, sorted my inventory, and yeah, we got plenty of gold now. That's that's going to be enough for... I could even make uh, some of those really overpowered, like, uh, god mode apples. Um, so, we're going to have a... do that. And... Yeah, gold block victory. Kapow! So that was a uh, wow. That was several several of the uh, goal items acquired pretty quick. Uh, and yeah. Oh, anyway, before I before I sign out, it seems to be stable right now. Um, what I was saying about silver. I like silver more than gold. Silver is an industrial metal, and it gets used up. Uh, you put gold in the vault and hoard it away. But uh, silver gets used in cell phones, keyboards, even clothing, because it has antibacterial properties. Um, uh, humans humans use up silver in tiny quantities and and then throw it away. So uh, silver as a as an element uh, could get really really hard to find in the coming decades if we keep uh, using it up. So I think it's a pretty good investment. I like it a lot better than gold. So, um, yeah, there you go. Some investment advice from Veggies. Uh, all right, so I am going to call it here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me uh, get some rapid successes. Pretty easy. That was that was nice. Got tons of gold now. It's not, it's great. Um, I got to go make that Enderman farm at some point, and uh, I'm really happy with how my cactus farm turned out. And I'm really sorry about the technical troubles. I've never had anything like this happen before. So I'm going to call the episode here, and then I'm going to go get online and go look and see if I can figure out what might be causing this. So hopefully I can get whatever whatever the problem is. Hopefully I can get it fixed. And I'll see you guys next episode without any technical troubles. All right. Take it easy.